Hello friends and family of YouTube. Well today I have a Rockwood Mini. It's a 2503S. Man, I like this. It's got two doors. I don't show a lot of RVs with two door entries on it. So, hey, I think this one's gonna have a little different layout to what you guys are used to seeing. So, uh, y'all stick around. Let me show it to you. All right, we're gonna start at the back side here and I wanna show you that it is uh, pre-wired for a backup camera and you see that it does have a ladder so you can get back up there and check your roof every so often make sure everything's in good order and uh hey let me go ahead and tell you i'm over at johnston rv in coleman alabama today you can go to that website right there and see what all they got in stock see the specials of the day and of the month all that great stuff anyway i'm going to show you the good and the bad of this rv as i see it i do not work for this company i'm just here shooting some videos anyway we got a shower right here this is the back side of your water heater got a little bit of storage here and you've got your city and water connections for your water everything is right here together 30 amp electrical service right there is your sewer i love that they got everything just right here together man that is so nice you see that it is a dual axle got out uh got aluminum alloy wheels on here and as i said we've got a little bit of storage everywhere let me show you this one here if it's not locked i believe it is locked so not gonna be able to get that one there we go anyway just a little bit of storage but i'm glad that they did give it to you so this is right behind the couch and we will see that as we get inside here and I walked right by the slide, didn't even mention it. Shame on me. Anyway, there's a slide on this side. And we've got an awning cover that goes over the slide. And I like that because that helps keep your weather seals in good order. And it also keeps as much moisture out of there as possible. Don't believe I mentioned that they do have the tinted windows all the way around. Look at all this storage you've got right here. How about that? It goes all the way across to the other side. And these are the magnetic doors. So as you uh, lift them up, they just stick right to the wall, help you out, especially if you're like me, you just got one hand to work with because I got the camera in the other. All right, and you've got enough room up here, man, look at there, you could put probably five, four or five batteries across here. Got your two uh, propane tanks, got your electric tongue jack, and it does have four corner corner stabilizer jacks. These are not electric, but you could use a cordless drill to run those up and down. And this is pre-wired for solar. That's what's going on right here. So uh, yeah, I got it ready for you. And also you've got a little bit more storage right here. And if you're wondering why they didn't just put one solid door there, well, this is your awning to go across on the front. So, uh, and as I said, this is a two door model. So uh, let, me, let me take you inside and show you this thing. I like that it's got two steps and uh, let me show you this model number again before we get inside. It is a 2503S. This is Rockwood, and hey, I'm over at Johnston in Coleman, Alabama today. And I just came in this door right here, and I told you that I would tell you the good and bad out of this RV. I love this layout. It's different than any other layout that I have seen a lot of. This one is not a very common layout. So I want to make sure to show it to you as good as I can. I do not have any way to get lights on in here today, folks. Uh, my battery charger has run out of battery juice. So I'm just going to be able to show you this thing with the natural lighting. And it is four o'clock here and it gets dark right at five. So we don't have a lot of natural light going on. What you see is what, uh, it's pretty dark but you got to remember there's tinted windows in here and uh like i say it's getting dark in an hour anyway i told you that i'd tell you the good and the bad the good and the bad of this is as soon as i walked in i did hit my head right here maybe the way i was trying to step as i was coming up these steps wipe off my feet and i hit this right here as i came in so wouldn't hurt for them to put a cushion right there or maybe uh just shorten this cabinet just a little bit but as you come in this door, and this is a two-door entry model, right here you've got uh, your control panel, and that way you can control everything right from the doorway without having to come in. If you're trying to set up this RV and you want to set it up from outside, that makes it a lot easier. So anyway, as you come in, 
you've got a couch right here and this couch converts over into a Murphy bed and that is your bed this whole panel back here is a bed that lays down over this couch this couch will turn to make flat and when it does the couch I mean the bed comes over the couch I do not want to mess with this people folks I'm sorry but with me not working here or having anything to do with this to me I like to leave that kind of stuff alone if something was to break I would I would never forgive myself so anyway not saying that this stuff is easy to break but hey things do happen you got a nice little drawer right there I love the ball bearing set up on that that's pretty nice the way smooth that that runs and you've got a little bit of storage right here as well on each side of the bed both sides of the bed has the same setup and you've got just these simple little latches and that's that's what keeps it in the upright position you undo those two right there and all it takes is just one arm you pull it down y'all probably seen these they're on a bunch of videos but they're not on mine they do have a vent here right over the bed it does not have a fan in it but they do have a vent for you and on both sides of the bed and the couch here you do have a window and there's also one on the door of course the door is open at this at this moment but right here over the dinette you've got a good size uh, set of windows here and look at the size of this dinette man this thing is large I am 6'1 and I could lay across there reason I say you could lay across it is that table right there will break down you can stroll those cushions all over the place and you make one big bed right there so you can uh, you can sleep two or three people to sleep two on this and a couple on the bed so you've got a good good place for four people to go camping and like i said it is a little dark in here but i do want to show you what i can these cabinets are about 14 inches deep back through there and they go all the way across and i also want to show another good feature is that this tv it can be seen not only from the bed the couch and the dinette so anywhere in this in this trailer rv you can see that tv all right so now let me show you over here on the uh, kitchen side you've got you've got some storage right here a good size cabinet you can put not only hang you some clothes right here but you've also got a good area to put you put you some food so you could use that as a pantry if you wanted to or you could put stuff uh, food stuff on that other side as well whatever you want to do and you've got a big drawer right there that'd be a great place to put you some large uh, pots and pans any kind of dishware and on the lower level here you've got a couple of doors that open up and there's plenty of storage under there as well and you've also got some more drawers and while I'm staying down on this level, let me show you that you do have a small oven. This is a smaller oven. It's not big enough to put a turkey in, but you can definitely throw some frozen pizza up in there. And you've got a three burner cooktop, and this top is a glass top, so it's made to fold back, get out of your way. Look how much room you've got back there. Man, there is plenty of room to put all kinds of kitchen gadgets down through there. And uh, show you this sink right quick. Uh, two bowl sink nice little top I like that that sits up there that way if it can give you a little more countertop or you can flip this over and use it as a cutting board and it just has a natural uh, standard type uh, faucet here it's not one of those pull out types but you could always change it if you wanted to and here's your microwave and you got a little bit more storage up here as well that cabinet right there goes back almost two foot plenty of space in there all right and you've got a little storage here as well so this kitchen i'm going to tell you this kitchen's got some of the most storage that i have seen in quite a while so that is very impressive oh and i forgot to mention that little thing right there that is pretty neat so this will go up and down you can make this go down and it will go down into the cabinet but anyway you can plug in your uh, your 110 outlets right there you've got a usb outlet right here and i do like that they do have the window right there over the countertop that gives you plenty of natural lighting like i said it's going to be getting dark real soon here and i don't believe i mentioned it when i was talking about the tv but you do have a sound bar right there 
that's hooked up to the TV and you also have a stereo system here which is also a DVD player and it's Bluetooth capable also got the Wi-Fi range extender right there and as I'm heading towards the bathroom you have this is your control panel for your uh, HVAC and before you go to the bathroom you got to have something to eat so let me show you what's going on in the freezer today well we don't have any food in there yet but we got plenty of room to put plenty of it and good size space in the uh, in the refrigerator as well I like that they gave you a cutout right there with that cutout you can definitely store a uh, gallon of milk or a two liter whatever so pretty nice and there's plenty of storage in the door as well this is a Dometic and it's made to run on gas or electric and as we go into the bathroom you got uh, got plenty of storage cabinets down here below got you a nice size sink we even got you a medicine cabinet here you can store all kinds of stuff in there but I like that they gave you some countertop man that's uh that's something we don't see enough of in RVs is some countertop space and let me show you it's a little closed in here because there's this box here and I don't want to move it as I said I don't work here so I don't like to move stuff around but uh, I will tell you that inside of this cabinet right here that has a hanging bar inside of there where you can hang your clothes while I'm heading this direction let me show you this man I love to see that I love to see that in these bathrooms of these RVs that's uh that's nice to have that good size um, of a fan and right here on the other side you've got some more storage plenty of room to put plenty of stuff you could put you some clothes or your fresh linens and as I said this is a two-door model so there's your doorway right there so if you were outside and you just wanted the kids run in here and make a mess all over this floor instead of throwing it all over the RV you've got plenty of capability to do that that way the kids can come in here and uh, and use the bathroom and go back outside and uh, you do have these uh, magnetic shower doors these doors will close back and forth and they are they will lock too as they're like I said they're magnetic so uh, you've got an extra space here above your head so that if you're in the shower you've got a little extra head space and I am six foot one and I do fit in there fairly well and I do have plenty of room for me to uh, be able to move my arms around and shower and I did not mention it but this is just a standard foot flush toilet and uh, I'm standing right in the doorway of uh, this uh, exterior door so to kind of give you an idea of the layout of this bathroom it is a large bathroom this bathroom extends the entire back section of this RV so it is a full-size bathroom back here you have got plenty of room to move around these people that wonder how much room is around this toilet I'm gonna to tell you you got enough room you could have mounted two toilets right here there is plenty of room to do a lot of sitting and squatting and whatever you need to do and if you're real proud of it you can open that window right there and let everybody know what's going on in here and now is the time where I like to tell you some more good and bad of this particular RV. I know I told you a lot of good things about it as a walkthrough, but I like to give you a little more here at the end of the video after we've went through from front to back. So uh, let me go over that with you now. All right, I did not mention it earlier, but this does have the uh, air conditioner into the ceiling, and it is a ducted HVAC system, so the air conditioning is ducted into the ceiling anyway if uh, one thing I want to talk about here is that if this slide was closed inward as opposed to the slide being out if it was inward you could not walk through here but the good of it is is that this is a two-door model so you could go through the other door to get to the bathroom now the the, the area that you would struggle with is that you would have to come from the bathroom to get to the refrigerator if you had the slide pulled inward but it is still accessible because it is not on the slide so you would just have to access it from the bathroom okay and one thing I do like is I love all this countertop space man there is plenty of it there is plenty of storage in here 
you could never complain about the storage of this particular unit I like uh, the Murphy setup here being able to just you can either use this couch if you wanted to pull over on the side of the road just get you a quick nap man you can do it right there if you want to stop and stay somewhere man you let the bed on down now one thing I do not really care for is this is just a vent only if it were me I would like to do an upgrade right here I would put a reversible fan that way it can draw air or push air in or out right here over my bed that would help keep me cool or warm whatever temperature i'm aiming for for the particular day or night to me that would just feel so much better to be able to have that another thing i was not able to point out to you earlier but there is uh, an outlet right over here and uh, it's like a charging station with usb ports so you can plug your phone in right there and charge them right up or your laptop whatever you need to there's also a 110 outlet right there as well and uh, something else I like is I like this big dinette setup they've got here. But I tell you, I would have to add a, a larger TV. Hey, I know it sounds like we're very spoiled as Americans. But, you know, when you're this far back, if you were laying down in the bed, that TV would be pretty small. So wouldn't hurt to upgrade right there and make just a little bit bigger of a TV situation for yourself. And like I said earlier, I am over at Johnston RV. I am in Coleman, Alabama. This is a 2503S Rockwood, and here is your lifetime warranty. I will try to remember to put a link down below, and uh, you can watch a video where Mr. Johnston talks all about this uh, lifetime warranty. Well, like I told you, this toilet's got so much room, I thought I'd close the video out back here in the bathroom. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, there is a lot of room in this, this bathroom. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, I like these uh, two-door models. I don't show them enough on this channel. Uh, hey, I'm going to try to start doing a little bit more variety. I'm bad about showing you the, the RVs that I like as opposed to some that y'all might like. So anyway... Folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. Hey, if y'all would, hit the like and subscribe. Leave me some messages down below of what y'all liked or disliked about this particular unit. And uh, also, I would like to tell you that uh, Mr. Johnston has, um, has a video that I will link down below, and it will tell you all about the warranty system on this particular unit. So anyway, folks, if y'all would, hit the like and subscribe, and I hope to see y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.